I'm Tony Goldwyn, and I'm the director and producer of Conviction. It's the story of a woman whose brother is convicted of murder and sentenced to life in prison without possibility of parole. Benny Ann couldn't survive with her brother in prison and made it her business to get him out. And she went back to school and got her GED and went to college and went to law school and became an attorney in an effort to try and prove him innocent to figure out how to get him out. And um, it took her 18 years. We'll get you out, Kenny! In spring of 2001, my wife saw a piece on either 60 Minutes or Dateline about Betty and, and Kenny Waters. And I was fascinated, not just by the triumphant story of a woman against the system, but what really uh, got my attention was the question I, I asked myself, what if he'd been, she'd been wrong? What if either she was unsuccessful in getting him out of prison, or what if he was guilty? You're innocent. Are you sure about that? Andrew Karsh, our producer, uh, and I, he was negotiating for the life rights to her story. And, um, and I met with him, and we liked each other, and sort of saw the same movie, and um, hired Pamela Gray to write it, who wrote my first film, A Walk on the Moon, and we were very close. And uh, thus began a very long and bumpy road to getting conviction in front of the cameras. Oh, I love you. Look at my sis. Isn't she beautiful? No. Here she is to save the day. I'm an actor, you know, an actor first, and that's the language that I speak. So um, I, I approach everything from character, whether it's developing a screenplay or editing. Um, and actors, you know, I, I feel their pain. So I can generally speak the same language and get in there and make actors feel that they have a, or a partner who understands what they're trying to accomplish. Not doing it. You do it, or I'll kill you. Got your sister and your lawyer talking. You have this kind of emotional um, um, divining rod <laughs> that you you have to constantly tune into as a director. It's your sort of inner voice of going, no, this is what it's about, and what moves me about this. And it keeps, so I, I always stay very close in touch with that, and it keeps me on track. And the most miraculous thing about directing for me is bringing a group of talented people together and expressing a kind of intent to them of what we're trying to achieve and then watching them make it better and take flight. My baby sister, pass the ball! I understand, but you pass have to sit down. You know, I worked as an actor with a lot of mediocre directors in my career. Mo mostly, I would say, unfortunately, um, with some great ones. But uh, what I craved was um, collaboration. I'm not trying to be rude. I just don't really have time for a friend right now. Oh, yeah, you do. I mean, I'm all you got. From the get-go, I thought, what kind of director would I crave? And it would be a director who creates a creative environment, sets up a creative environment where people feel absolutely free to do their work. And they don't feel the stresses of the time pressure, that's my problem. The money pressure, that's my problem. You know, I create a creative bubble for people to do their thing. And really, the other part of it is surrounding myself, hiring really gifted people and letting them do their thing and not micromanaging. Creating space for people to explore their work. Um, it seems to some that you waste a lot of time, that, that you know, if you're not rushing, you know, you're not gonna get the day's work done, or, you know, if they rehearse too much, or if you do too many takes, you know, the people get very anxious about that and the cost and the time, but the truth is, if you give people room to breathe, the work just goes like that. And if people feel free, then they kind of get in flow, and you might spend an extra 20 minutes rehearsing, but you're gonna shoot really fast, or if you take the time to get a shot right or to really find a performance, you can then blow through other things. So um, I don't feel there's any hindrance. I feel very strongly that my style of working is, is both creative and efficient for, for me when I'm running a set. It's time for you to start living your life. This is my life. I look at this movie and I say, even though this took us, I'm glad this took as long as it took to get made, because I see up there the story on the screen that I had in my heart, and it, it's, it's up there. I love you, Kenny. Love you. Love you.